Hey guys, welcome back to the Dabbler's Dad. It's Chris uh, with another quick gear review, uh, this time in the heart of the Golden Isles here in Southeast Georgia. Um, today I'm going to review a uh, dry bag backpack uh, put out by a company called Tri Performance. Uh, you can pick one of these up on Amazon. And uh, when we come back here in just a second, I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and uh, show you guys what you'll get if you order one of these uh, backpacks uh, from Tri Performance. So we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Uh, now, before I get started, I do want to apologize for any uh, wind noise that you may hear. It's awfully breezy out here today, and I am literally using one of my socks as a microphone dampener. So uh, hopefully it's not too windy and you can uh, hear what I'm talking about. Now, like with most of my reviews, um, this is exactly how your package is gonna come from Amazon, um, minus the Amazon box. Uh, but this is this is how it comes. Uh, it's in a in a neat plastic uh, bag uh, On the back it does have some directions on how to use it, uh, but it is pretty self-explanatory So let me go ahead and open this up and uh, I'll show you what it looks like uh, on the inside Got a couple of snaps here Paper that I don't want out So you can see, uh, I mean, this is, this is really big. You got lots of room here for all kinds of stuff. Um, it's a really noticeable color too. I like the color that I, that I uh, got. Uh, it's kind of a, you know, I can use it for any situation. Uh, put some emergency gear in there, keep it on the boat with some uh, first aid equipment, stuff like that. All right, so the bag itself is, I mean, it's super thick. Uh, this is a, a 500D, um, you know, industrial grade uh, tarpaulin material. Um, you know, it's a PVC tarpaulin material. It's super, super uh, heavy duty. Um, it's all, you know, all the seams are sealed tight. Uh, looks like it's going to really do a good job of, of keeping any kind of water out of here. Um, it does come with a zippered front. Um, this zippered front is not waterproof. It's water resistant. Um, so you wouldn't want to put your, you know, any kind of electronics or anything like that in here. Uh, maybe, you know, a couple snacks or something like that you might want to put in there. Maybe a map or something. Hiking, but um, anyway, so uh, so that's what you get there. Uh, the inside is um, it's a 30 liter uh, backpack, so you know you got tons of room in there. Uh, it's seven inches deep, 24 I think it's 24 inches long, and it'll roll down to be about 17 inches uh, long. Uh, and um, you can see here you got plenty of room to put anything you want in there. Uh, so let me go ahead and stuff this with a couple things I have here in the boat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stuff it with uh, with uh, a towel and a sweatshirt that I have with me, uh, which is going to be pretty critical because it's a little cool out here. Uh, it's it's um, you know the first part of March, so it's pretty cool. Uh, and after I get it all secure and show you how to work it, I'm going to dunk it in the water, and you can see to make sure that it's going to be waterproof. So give me a minute and let's do that, okay? All right. So as I mentioned, you know the inside of this bag is just one big hollow cavity. Um, just like any dry bag that you get, uh, there's not going to be you know, a bunch of compartments and things like that. The purpose is to keep your gear dry. Um, so let's go ahead. I've got a, a beach towel that I always bring with me out in the boat. Let's stuff that in there. And I've got my sweatshirt that I'll probably put on as soon as I'm done filming this. As long as it stays dry. Alright, so that's all stuffed down in there. Now, whenever you're using one of these dry bags, there's no there's no like zippers or anything like that because that's a point for water to get in. So all you have to do is close the top and you want to give it two or three good rolls uh, and making sure that the air doesn't get trapped in there too, too much. But two or three good rolls and then just clip it together. And now this thing is uh, ready to go, it's waterproof. Uh, while I have it here and before I dunk it, let me just show you, we got some padded straps here. Um, I'm gonna try to keep these dry. I don't wanna get these real wet. Uh, so I'll probably dunk it straight in like this. Um, it's got a shoulder strap uh, and everything's all adjustable. And there is a pad, a breathable pad for your back there. So, um, and let's see. Oh, and I think, let's see. I also believe that you can, there's two different ways that you can attach this. Uh, you can do it the way I just showed you or you can attach it this way and same thing it'll keep your gear dry. So uh, there's a couple a couple ways to attach your to attach your buckles. Alright so this is ready to go and as I said I'm gonna test this thing. We're gonna 
dunked in the water and, uh, and hopefully that sweatshirt is still dry. I said I was going to try to keep those straps dry but they got wet. I'll make sure I rinse this off real good when I get back. Alright, get all the water off the surface of it and let's open this thing back up. Yeah, everything in there is 100% dry. No worries there. Uh, so, as advertised, this thing is waterproof. Uh, tried and tested. Uh, you guys should feel a lot confident when you order one of these. Um, so, give uh, give Charlotte a, uh, a look over on, on Amazon. Her uh, company is Tri Performance. Um, you know, I, with most of the companies that I that I like to work with, um, I try to interact with them, try to make sure that uh, you know they're a legitimate company. Uh, she was very pleasant to uh, work with, answered all my questions, and uh, you know, order with confidence when you order from uh, Tri Performance. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll catch you next time.